For over 20 years, I've dedicated my life to bringing you the very best selling, marketing, and business building strategies to keep your business thriving. Get ready to experience the success you've been searching for. Welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show, episode 62. Today, we're talking about arguably the hottest topic, which is how do we generate more listing opportunities from your mega open houses? So the National Association of Realtors declares this is like the open house month. Now, you and I both know there's two ways to do open houses. The sort of traditional way where I hope and pray to the real estate God that somebody shows up. And you know this strategy. You know, we, we put an ad in the local you know, newspaper, maybe through our company, um, and we, we hope and pray by putting out two or three signs that maybe, just maybe, somebody will show up versus the Tom Ferry strategy, the mega open house where I say, I know that this home is going to sell, whether it's right now or in the very near future. And when it does, there is going to be a tremendous number of listing opportunities right inside that community. And I want to turn like the vacuum cleaner on and suck all the listing opportunities out of the marketplace before anybody else gets a shot. So we do a mega open house. So to do that, we have basically the obvious you know, event. So it might be 1130 until one, uh, to one o'clock. And then the traditional open house goes from one until four. During that time, we're gonna invite all of the neighbors and all the people in your database, maybe all your best buyer leads, to come and join you, whether it's for lunch or lemonade. If you're my clients in Germany, it could be a beer. Like, it's entirely up to you. My clients in Australia, they, they're like, we're gonna do these like on Thursday night from five to seven and serve like wine. Like, I love it. It's entirely up to you. If you saw last year's Tom X with Kyle Whistle, I think his topic was like beers and open houses and the after party of uh, like an open house. It was crazy. But what we know is this. Just like a broker preview, if you want agents to show up, you serve food, you know, you got some, you, you know, refreshments that when they show up, like it's the experience of see the house, get a bite, and then get on to the next one, but get to know the market. The same rule applies in inviting the neighbors. So we're gonna talk about five ways to drive traffic, mostly from the neighborhood and then to the avatar ideal buyer you're looking to attract. We're gonna talk about five easy questions that you should be asking every person that walks through and then two really cool bonus tips, things that our top clients are doing, our great coaches are doing to not only make people as they're walking into this environment feel more comfortable, but also a way to capture potential seller leads or just capture leads in general. So let's go through it together, right? Five traffic, five easy questions, and two cool bonus tips. So let's talk traffic first and foremost. What we know is today, I mean, look, I'm, I know I'm walking out of the, the camera here. Like, we gotta get them here, right? You gotta get them here. What's up, JD Lennard, by the way, just sending me a text. So how am I gonna get the local buyers in my marketplace and potentially the neighbors in the marketplace to know about this house digitally. Well, what we know is first record a short form video and it could just be something as simple as this. You stand in front of the house saying, hi, it's Tom Ferry with Banana Real Estate and I just listed this beautiful home right here at the corner of Hama Hama and Nana Nana. If you know anything about this community, this home is going to sell and it's going to sell quickly because right here next to school A or B or shopping of X and Z and 43 Starbucks, this charming three bedroom, two bath, you know, hasn't been on the market for almost 15 years and it won't be on for long. I'm holding it open this weekend, both for the neighbors as well as the general public between 1130 and one for lunch and then one to four. If you'd like to join us, please let us know. Boom, and I shoot that simple little video and then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna email that to my database. So let's say the mega open house is on a Saturday. It could be Friday afternoon, it could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, it's entirely up to you. Um, you're gonna send that at least 48 hours before to say, come join us. You're gonna check your open rates. You're gonna know how many people opened it. Uh, are you gonna ask them to make a reservation for lunch? Probably not. Just, hey, hit reply and let me know if you're gonna join us. And you'll get a bunch of people that'll say, hey, sounds great. No, we're not interested. It's all good. What we want though is exposure and specifically like our database and all the buyers you're currently working with that are looking for properties to know about this house. Number two, I wanna do a Facebook 
boost like from your page or you can actually run an ad. Either one is fine. I would be more inclined to run the ad because I want to do a Facebook targeted campaign to the specific avatar of buyers in that zip code. So let's say uh, I'm in Corona Del Mar and I'm in you know property in the flower streets, right, in the village. And I say, so who buys in the village? Well, generally speaking, they're uh, you know single people or they're couples. They're 45 years old. They make you know two hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, you know that on Facebook, I can go in and say the only people I want to see this live in these zip codes already, live in these areas already, make this kind of money, single, married, kids, whatever you want, it's all there and available. My point is you can target advertise specifically for three or four days before the open house, letting those people know that would be the avatar, the ideal prospect about this open house. I like that one a lot. Now, number three, I want to door knock and invite the neighbors. So uh, Sarah, I'm just going to grab a piece of paper over here, my little top secret folder. And I want you to imagine this. It's the it's Thursday or Friday before. Knock, knock, knock. So knock, knock, knock. Hi. Hi. And I immediately hand them the flyer. I hand them the flyer. Ideally, price big, you know, photo of the house, price big. Hi. Hi, my name is Tom Ferry with Banana Real Estate. I hand them the flyer and say, I just listed your neighbor's home. Um, it's hitting the market this weekend. We're going to hold our first open house and I'm inviting all the neighbors to come by and see the home before anybody else. Say goodbye to your neighbors and join us for lunch. Would you like to come with us? That's it. Just would you like to come with us? I can think of the number of times that I've taught this in a seminar and had people come back and say, oh, Tom, I've done that mega open house. And when I go out and I like knock on the doors and I invite the neighbors, A, the neighbors love it, right? They like to, oh, we can see the house before everybody else. Oh, we're going to have lunch. Can I bring my family? Like the answer is yes, come one, come all, and you'll see why in a minute. And then more importantly, they start saying, well, if that one's good, is that really going to sell for that? And how much is my home worth? Can you come in and take a look around? These are the opportunities. Remember I said to you, we do mega open houses because we want to we want to suck like a vacuum cleaner. All of the opportunity, the listing opportunities around that property before anybody else is even thinking about it. And this is your shot. So I'm going to door knock and invite the neighbors. I want to put out 20 to 30 signs. Now I know for my clients in New York City and you know La Jolla and Aspen, they're like pulling their hair out because you know there's no signs or it's vertical living. If you can put out 20 to 30 signs, put out 20 to 30 signs. If you're limited to two or three, put out your two or three. The point is this, if you don't have the limitation, don't have the limitation here, don't have the limitation be the resource of I don't have enough signs, get more signs. I mean, what, what is the worst case scenario? You have 30 signs in the marketplace and somebody says, I see your signs everywhere. You're like, oh, darn it, I was trying to be a secret agent. I didn't want anybody to know. You want your signs everywhere. It's a really smart move. So 20 to 30 signs. And then obviously if there's any company advertising that you can do being a part of their promotion, it's always a good idea as well. Now here's my point. Video, email it out to everybody, all my leads, my entire database, Facebook boost, advertise it to people that are in that zip code or to your ideal avatar buyer. I like that one a lot. Remember we talked about that on the listing presentation as a degree of separation. Like I got the listing because I said, I know who's going to buy this house and I know how to reach them on Facebook. That's a good thing. Door knock, 20 to 30 signs, company advertising. And guess what? Between 1130 and one o'clock, you're going to be busy, busy. Now people say to me, well, how much food do I get? I don't know enough. Have you ever been to a party where the food ran out? I have, I've thrown that party. And yeah, it's a bad thing, but at the end of the day, no one really cares. Have enough food. Well, what if I have a bunch of extra food? I don't know. Donate it to people. Give it away to people that need food. Uh, take it home. I don't care. Don't make that the issue, right? Don't worry about how much food. It's about having an experience when people walk in and they go, wow, because what they're doing is they're judging you and they're interviewing you based on how you set the experience up. And that's the game with these mega open houses. So let's go to some questions. Ready? Easy questions you should be asking every person when you meet them. Ready? So hey, how long has you been searching for a home? Sarah, how long has you been searching for a home? Whoa, for like a, a month and a half, new in the process. Three years, right? You know the range of people, but I want to know this. I also want to know what sites have you been going to? Oh, we've been all over Trulia. 
We like Redfin. I've got an agent that's sending me this MLS now. When you start hearing someone tell you that they're looking at all these sites and they've got agents, would you say that their level of desire is higher or lower? Would you say that they're newer in the process or pretty advanced in the process? You and I both know the answer. This is a great qualifying question. Then I want to ask number three, so have you found your ideal house? Right, have you found your ideal house? Now, nuts, it's not on there, but when they say no, what do we ask? Well, can you tell me about your ideal house? And that's when you pull out your business card and you say, tell me about your ideal house. You want four bedroom, you want 8,000 square feet, you'd ideally like a pool, you know, you want it to be near the park, you, th 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 everything that they want, right? Because that then leads me to, you know, I see a lot of homes before they hit the market. Are you interested in knowing about these properties that are maybe off market or before they hit the market? Is that of interest to you? Now, what happens in that moment? They go, well, yeah, of course I'm interested, right? Uh, that's, it's a great little hook. Now, you're probably already using this, I know, but for maybe the you know, 20% of you that have it, this is the game changer when you're sitting there. And then you ask the last question, by the way, do you guys need to sell a house before you buy the next one? Do you need to sell a home before you buy the next one? And in that case, again, I'm trying to figure out, just like with my neighbors, which I'm gonna come back to in a minute, the general public, when they're walking through, I wanna know all of this. Now, let's talk about the neighbors for a second. I know, like in the old days, I'd say to people, you should do open houses. And be, oh God, Tom, I don't like open houses. And the, the looky-loo neighbors, Sarah, that was always, and the looky-loo neighbors, they want to walk around and say like, well, did you know that their grandmother died in the bathroom? Like, is that going to be on the, you know, like you hear all that stuff or they walk through and they go, oh my God, look at this place. Or they say, hey, is this really going to sell for? See, I embrace the sellers. I tell my clients, no, you want the neighbors coming in and asking you all these questions. You wanna warm them up, have some lunch, do some Q&A, find out what's going on, and when you're there, what's your intent? Your goal is to find three to five people that wanna know the real value of their house so you can add them into your follow-up campaign, and when that home sells and it sells for a premium and there's eight offers on the property and one buyer's really happy and seven others are crying in their soup because they wrote an offer on another house that they didn't get, you now have three to five neighbors in the community to say, Sarah, Taz, I have five other properties of people that are interested, right? But they're not 100%. Why don't I go to them with an offer? Let's go to them with an offer, right? But offer, I haven't seen the house yet. I understand, but let's go and let's see where their interest lies. And then of course, we'll get in, take a look at the home and we'll see if it all works out. And if it works out, we could have a deal here. Like that's the reality today, my friends. So we're doing these mega open houses to find all those neighbors in the marketplace, to find out who's interested in the value of their home, who's had any thoughts of selling so we can win. And then when we meet everybody else, it's all those normal questions. So here's my two little bonus, right? My two little cool bonus things. Big shout out to coach Eileen Rivera, who is um, been a client and a friend for, you know, my goodness, I'm going to say 24, 25 years. Um, extraordinary agent from Long Beach, California. You saw her on the Tom Ferry Show. We did an interview with her on geographic farming. Um, I was uh, perusing some of our private Facebook pages, and, you know, she's always doing these innovative things, and, and this is something I saw recently. So, Taz, take a look at this. This is the best sign I have ever seen at the front door of her open house. So I'd like you to picture it's probably a little bit larger than that, maybe, I'm guessing, by the photo, it's you know three and a half four feet high, right? So it's you know it's it's like to here, and it says welcome to my open house. Look around, ask questions, see yourself living here, fall in love, make an offer. The Rivera Group, and it's right at the front door. So as soon as you walk in, like I know what I'm here to do. Like it's very welcome to my open house. Look around, ask questions, engage with me, right? Engage with me, see yourself living here, fall in love, make an offer. Boom. See sometimes it's just the little things. It's the little things, right? By doing the little things that make you stand out, that separate you from the competition. Um, the fact that they showed up and if they're neighbors, there was food there, or uh, there was 20 or 30 signs out, that they see that you're doing so much more than everybody else, that you're not the shadow agent hiding in the back of the house, but you're standing in the foyer saying, hi, my name is Eileen, you know, very nice to meet you. Tell me, do you live in the neighborhood? Like, how long is building for a home? What sites are you looking at? Like, we engage with people in a positive way. So I love this. Now. A lot of my clients are saying, Tom, when I'm there and whether I'm meeting with the neighbors or potential, uh, potential buyers of that property, 
we all have seller capture sites, whether it's your geographicfarm.com or, or any other site that you would use, right? But we have a vehicle now to give people the value of their home and capture their information. How are you using that at your open house? How are you using this? So here's what I'm telling my clients. I say to them, go ahead and have made a retractable banner. Like if you've been to a Tom Ferry event or any event, right? We have these banners, zip, and we open them up and it says registration, arrow that way, you know, come to Summit, it's over there. These retractable banners, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, maybe dependent upon art and color. But what if you had this retractable banner that I want you to imagine it's this tall, right? So I'm six foot, almost six one. So maybe it's like almost seven feet tall. You, you take this thing out and it says curious about your home's real value. And we got a little graph that's showing this. This also could be like, you know, photos of houses, right? Houses and the dollar amounts are clearly going up. Simply type in your address and below that, you've got a little table. And on that table, what do you have? Two iPads, three iPads, opened up directly to your seller landing page. And all they have to do is type in their address. 54 Banana Street, boom, enter. Oh yes, Tom and Kathy Ferry, yes, that's my house. Boom, valuation, I see it. And what are we really doing? We're capturing potential sellers. We're finding out who they are. We now have them in our drip campaign. This is a very low cost strategy for you to start attracting potential sellers while you're doing your open house. Now, I did have somebody say to me recently, oh my God, Tom, if I had those iPads sitting there um, in, in my neighborhood, they would steal them. And, and my response was like, I don't know, maybe you should like sell houses somewhere else. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know, but do what Apple does. Like Apple has them all like, you know, to like a, a wire or a chain or whatever. I mean, if that's what you have to do, do that. But don't have that stop you from capturing potential seller leads while you're doing your open house. That could just be sitting in the corner. Listen, here's what's coming soon. You know what's coming soon. Like, I read the book Bold, B-O-L-D, by Peter Diamandis. Extraordinary book about exponential growth and where everything is going. I'm fascinated by this, by AI technology and just all these cool things. Like, here's what's gonna happen in the future. I'm gonna walk into your open house and a robot is gonna roll up to me and say, hello, welcome to, and it's already gonna probably just scan my face, pull up my Facebook profile and say, hello Tom, is Kathy, Michael, and Steven with you today? Like, that's what's coming. And I have people stopping me and saying, I'm not sure if I could put an iPad, you know, at my appointment, I'm not sure if we're on my open house. So, play with me. It's April, we're going into May, this is the time. Big shout out to my friends at Berkshire Hathaway Georgia Properties. They had something like 350 open houses in the month of March and killed it. They had billboard signs, Facebook ads running everywhere, thousands and thousands of people through, thousands of seller leads captured because they just took this on and said, we're just gonna do it, not just as an individual like you, but as an entire company. So for anybody that's watching, big shout out to that group, pretty extraordinary. So. Stop, think. You're gonna spend three, four, five hours at an open house. Why not maximize the opportunity? Don't do another open house where you sit in the back of the house, turn the football game on, and hope and pray that somebody shows up, and you know, you get that weird, odd person walking through the house every now and then. Like, let's make it a party. Let's make it an event, because they're judging you and watching you and assessing, are you the agent of choice? And you can be that agent every time by following this strategy. So. Thanks so much for watching. Remember always, your strategy matters. And now more than ever, your ability to crush your open houses absolutely rules. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you love what you're seeing here, then click the button below to join our online community absolutely free. Thanks so much. <laughs>